This video will cover the Grundfos CUE variable frequency drive and setting analog inputs and analog outputs. The Grundfos CUE has two analog inputs indicated here on the diagram. These inputs can either be current or voltage. And the first thing we need to do is remove our keypad to set the analog input for either voltage or current. So I will remove the keypad by pulling it off. Down here in the lower right hand corner, you will see A53 and A54. Analog input 53 on the CUE is our external set point input. By default, it's set to voltage, which is represented by U. If we are changing that to an analog signal on a current based signal, all we do is take a little flathead and flip this dip switch to the right, which now is on the, the letter I, which is indicated by current. Input 54 is our sensor input, which is indicated down here. Same thing with the dip switch. We have U representing voltage input, I representing a current input. By default, we're set to current. If we want to change that to voltage, we would flip the dip switch to the left. Once our dip switches are set for the signal that we're running in, we reinstall our keypad by pushing it in. The external set point and sensor inputs can be adjusted in the menu screen. These can also be set up on the initial setup wizard. But if you need to go back and change any settings on the external set point or the set sensor, we go to our menu screen by hitting these three buttons. From the menu screen, we're going to scroll all the way down the menu until we get to 200, 202 menu screen, just sensors. We hit OK. Then from there, we can change our analog input for our sensor, or if we're running a constant temperature set, setup, we have that option here as well. We will focus on our analog input for our sensor. This is where we can change our feedback sensor range where we could just hit OK and select a different set point for our feedback sensor, hitting OK to save it. Hitting the down arrow, this is where we can change our sensor type. So currently we have our feedback sensor as set to current based on our dip switch, and we can change the current signal by using the up and down arrows. In this case, we're going to select 0 to 20 milliamp, hit OK to save it, if I hit the down arrow, this is for if we're running an external set point from say a PLC or a SCADA system or any other external 4 to 20 or analog signal. We hit OK. We can change the signal type. So we have this set to voltage. So if I select 0 to 5 volt, hit OK and hit the down arrow, this will show me now that the external set point will be a 0 to 5 volt signal coming in on analog input 53. The Grundfos CUE has one analog output indicated here on the diagram. To set the analog outputs, we'll start from the home screen and hit the menu button. From there, we'll scroll down to our option six, which is analog in out. From here, we have analog output, which is on terminal 42. If we want to tie that analog output to, let's say, speed, we can hit the OK button. Currently, it's set up for no operation. And we can select what option we want that analog output to be tied to. In this case, we will select our output frequency. And this video concludes how to set up a Grundfos CUE variable frequency drive, analog inputs and outputs.